Oh, hello, comrades! So today I'm gonna try and do this head to the control tower mission again. I've tried it a few times already. And the problem here is that it's a pretty long way and a lot of guys to fight and there's no way to sneak through it as far as I can tell. And I always seem to run out of ammo. Snake, Peace Walker's being controlled from the control tower. It's to the northeast. Get going. We'll be there to back you up. So, as I was saying, you know, there's... Uh, I usually carry this uh, machine gun, M60. And I try to carry this M1C sniper rifle. But this can only... Uh, carry 56 rounds and I seem to run out all the time so maybe this time I am going to take this assault rifle instead with 210 rounds and this one carries 200 and some rounds as well oh 300 so maybe this combination will actually allow me to so we'll try this Hush already. What are you doing, Snake? Aim! There's gonna be a guy on that side. Maybe not. Alright. Nothing's done.
Your objective lies beyond the gate. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, 
12 rounds left. RPGs, this could be trouble. This could be trouble. Alright, time to switch.
Get in there. Head north. Holy crap, that was a tough mission. Big boss, you made it. Too late, though. The false data's already in place. False data? That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence, nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. First, We'll enter data for an imaginary Soviet nuclear strike on the U.S. homeland. After assessing the data as a threat, Peace Walker will automatically enter retaliation mode, selecting the optimal target from a predefined list. For this scenario, we have reverse engineered the false data so that she'll inevitably end up choosing the Caribbean Sea as her target. You're really gonna do it, aren't you? Know this. Peace Walker's retaliation will be the first and last of the Cold War. It is the only way we will ever come close to achieving true peace. All that is left is to enter the Cold. No! Stand down, Big Boss. You're late. Professor. Professor? Yes, well, taking over the base took longer than expected. <gasps> but I uh, brought the technology. What? You provided the money and land. Center alone could never have accomplished so much in so little time. Zadarnov, you backstabbing son of a- Backstabbing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not enemies all along? Do you really think my comrades were working for the company? Do you truly think we'd faithfully serve a pack of depraved capitalist dogs? What are you going to do? Launch a nuke. Target Cuba. Have you lost your mind? What would you possibly gain? We won't be the ones launching it. You, the Americans, will attack our ally, Cuba. What? Think, Coldman. We're on an American base, eagerly endorsed and supplied by a pro-American regime. What's the international community to think? The world will burn with anti-American sentiment. Communism will spread across Latin America unchecked. Ugh! Let the age of deterrence be undone by the deterrent itself. Such is the Kremlin's plan. You son of a bitch! Us, come here. Vladimir Zadornov. And the Vladimir means ruler of peace. Now, do as you're told, us. Don't do it! Remember what they did to you at their base on the coast. For what Coldman's done, he deserves nothing less than death. Boss! I I'm sorry! that retribution be delivered by a dead hand. You... you missed on purpose. Your part in this isn't done. I need you to enter the code. Doctor, the target is now Cuba. Please make the necessary modifications. And don't even think of resisting. I'll crush you, but only after I crush your beloved first. No! Not 
want that! Cuba is now the retaliation target. Very well. Good. It is done. As for you, big boss, I've been watching you all along. You've performed beyond even my highest expectations. A true commandante. What are you talking about? Hmm. Why do you think I summoned you to Costa Rica? Had you make contact with the Sandinistas? <laughs> A true intelligence operative never gets his hands dirty. Need a revolution? Manipulate the locals into doing it for you. You mean Amanda and the Sandinistas? You've done well. You took a ragtag band of guerrillas, children, and shaped them into a full-fledged formidable army. And now, you'll truly become our century's most complete human being. Shape. Afara? None other. A hero who, gunned down by the CIA, becomes a legendary icon. The Sandinistas will rise up in revenge, overthrowing the pro-American regime and wresting Nicaragua from U.S. hands. And the nuclear strike on Cuba naturally will be the last straw. Mammopod data entry is complete. Dead at age 39. Just like El Che. Ironic, isn't it? In the end, a legend is merely fiction. You'll die as the boss did, and become as did she, an eternal fraud. Go! 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 Dare point your gun at a comrade! We will not be pawns of the KGB. We will win our own victory! Hasta la victoria siempre! Amanda! <sighs> we're home! Look! We're back in Nika! We did it, Amanda! I, I mean... Comandante! <sighs> Boss, you hurt. I'm fine. Big boss. 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 You're a regular Joan of Arc. Nonsense. You're the hero here. You saved my life. You're the heroes here. I never figured you for a softy, Snake. Thanks. It's good to see you. Paz can stay with us until she's back on her feet. And the professor? We'll find him a nice, comfy cell. Coldman's lost a lot of blood. He may not make it. Hmm. Where's Amanda? Back with her compass. She'll catch up later. How about you, Snake? I'm not done yet. The AI. I have to finish this. That boss is a fake. I'm gonna bury it. We'll save the champagne until you get back. May as well celebrate peace while it lasts. I didn't bring her back to life because I was forced to. I wanted to know how she really felt. How it really ended. The boss is dead. No, she's alive. Some truths are better left buried. You don't mean that. Be honest. You want to know too, don't you? Whether what you saw and heard at the end was the truth. She'll tell us. I know she will. Thank you for stopping them. And I'm sorry. I can't imagine how it hurt. I'll live. I'm used to shock therapy. You are? Well, it's very kind of you to say. Let's go meet her, shall we? 
Get in, boss. Don't pick up a gun unless you know how to use it. Aiming a weapon alone doesn't make it a deterrent. You're the angel of peace. Leave the guns to us. That was our agreement, remember? The army's leaving Costa Rica now. The mission is complete. Thank you. <laughs> What's that noise? What'd he do? <laughs> I should have killed you when I had the chance. Norad's nightmare is about to begin. What? Peace Walker determines retaliation targets based on enemy nuclear strike data. That data can be sent to third parties as well. We got big problems, Snake. Colbin's activated the nuclear launch switch. What? In the target's Cuba? Yeah, but that's not it. This son of a bitch has screwed us all over. When Peace Walker was activated, it started transmitting the false data set to NORAD. It's using a spread spectrum MLF signal. It can't be blacked out. Even by EMP. There's no way to tell the difference between false data and the real thing on a radar screen. NORAD will have no idea it's all a ruse generated by Peace Walker. They'll think it's a real Soviet attack. They'll pass on the data to the National Military Command Center. And Washington will have to choose whether or not to retaliate. This could get ugly. Unless we stop it, we're looking at a retaliatory chain reaction. No. No need to panic. The nightmare will end soon enough. What do you mean? Coldman's aim is for the bureaucrats in Washington to see the importance of a machine like Peace Walker. He's trying to prove that humans don't possess the will to launch nukes. Everything will be fine. They'll never retaliate. They're only human. Cuz, where's the president? Last I heard, he was in the middle of SALT II negotiations in Vladivostok. With the president gone, nuclear launch authority passes to the next person in the chain of succession. The vice president's gone too. So after him comes the speaker. President. Vice president. Not one among them has the courage to push the button. No one willing to enter history as the great destroyer. In the end, it's not their lives that people value most. It's their reputations. The bureaucrats in Washington may not be able to retaliate. Peace Walker, on the other hand. She's loyal to the mission above all. And she's well aware that guaranteed retaliation is essential for nuclear deterrence to work. Peace Walker is the perfect deterrent. Cuba would not have been my choice of target. But you can't make peace without breaking a few eggs. Now that Peace Walker has the false data, retaliation is inevitable. Are you insane? You think it'll end there? You're about to unleash all-out nuclear war! Somebody find out what's going on at NORAD. Mammal's got a connection to NORAD. We could monitor it with the right equipment. I've got you covered. I've got NORAD on the line. 
Sir, we're tracking unidentified targets. Current apogee, 20 degrees. Estimated time of re-entry is 2250 Zulu. Have you contacted the president? Coverall is not responding. Warning system checks out. No corresponding natural signatures. Data is assessed as reliable. Cut the data transmission. We can't say for sure Washington isn't going to retaliate. The only one who knows the abort code is me. I die. No one can turn it off. Even if they do strike back, I'll already be dead. I can only pray that my theory, my peace, is proven right. Peace. Go to DEFCON 3. Get Zack on the phone. This is Crystal Palace. Stand by for an emergency meeting. They're at DEFCON 3. The false data and the nukes are both coming from the same source. We have to stop Peace Walker. The only way is to destroy her. She's entered launch mode. Peace Walker's rendered her judgment. The target is Cuba. Snake, don't let it launch the nuke. cutscene. Lots happened. And now we have to destroy it again. Oh, look at that. Zero heroism. C. Left near death. 10? Where? That sucks. Alright. Well, guys, this is the end of this mission, and see you next time when we try to destroy the Peace Walker. Again.